earthquake 6.6 no big but there could be they're saying 300 kilometers close to it Barbados 6.6 St. Lucie Barbados so let's go over and check the data now two days ago we had or at least a day ago we had two huge objects that were coming I mean not huge but there were big objects that were coming by and they're coming by real fast so We've got material coming by, and now we're picking back up. I don't know about the solar. I'm not really even interested in that right now, but you should check it actually. And we, I do know that we've seen some action on the graph. But as you can see, that we are high on our mag, polar mag angle. Polar angle, ladies and gentlemen, tongue tie there a little bit. Okay, let's go down here to the graphs, and you'll see that we got a lot of graph action. You're still getting an electron flux. Crazy. I can just go up a little bit in size here and just go down and you can see we got a big activity here there uh, load that load that and then we'll go show you what they did for a report I've got this one here which this will be the only product, but on the other one they said to go look at the Pacific one, and you'll see that in a second. And you can read it. That's for the tsunami today. It's 18th of February, 2014, and I got 5 p.m. Eastern time. I had dogs barking here. So... They can feel vibrations long distances away. So, as you this was seen with this tsunami warning center becomes available. Only National Tsunami Warning Center message for this event. And further down, they say to Caribbean coastal region outside Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands to refer to the Pacific tsunami warning. And I don't know if that's the one I clicked on, but this is the one here for basically. And then. I'm going to blow up on this a little bit more so you can read it a little bit better. And pop over to the Helioplots. Love it. Roll down through this. I haven't been over this. The, the new software basically view that they've got of all of it. And then as you can see up and down before it actually hit. Time should extend as it goes up, I think. Yep. So basically before it hit, they had instability, or maybe right as it. So we might not have the best telemetry for it there from the graphs. Um, still wondering if I got it over on, see if it came in yet here. Nope, still hasn't reported yet. Uh, the big trench there, I'm trying to remember the name of the trench, if it's a Mariana Trench, I can't remember if it's the name Mariana Trench or which trench is there. Uh, there was some six point somethings yesterday. Uh, they had some pretty good activity. I don't know if I clicked to my next page or if I've got a refresh, okay. You're going to see 6.5 New Ireland area, a lot of 6.7, everything like that. In the Barbados area. So now times today, 927 today. Of course, this is the first I've looked at it, and that's UTC time. So I guess basically we've had just a lot of activity in the last. I don't know what I'm sitting at a GMT time right now, but I am at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So a lot of activity today. And there's the Helioplants, and I believe that I had, there you go, they had all these texts that, that they did. And I'm not worried about the 4.6, so 6.7s, that's the two that I read. The Caribbean one, and then the Caribbean one said to take care of it, the Pacific, but I just, I ended up reading you off that. That's the info you got was those two there. There really shouldn't be anything that I'm worried about on a 4.0 and a 4.6, which was aftershocks and precursors. So all the fact data that you sit here and look at live, 
always let you know that, you know, the actual, the magneticism out there in space, and that's what's causing it. And I'll go over here to RSOE, and there you go. We're already back down on, no, because basically, nope, we are. They took it away. I was looking at it, and it's gone. Oh, there we go. Still in the red. Still in the red. I just I went to a different size. There you go. So we're still in the red on that. Well, I'll hit a refresh on that. And we will go ahead and see if we even get a blink. Hardly any change. And then we'll go to I'm gonna say hi to solarham.com. They do a great job. We'll go ahead and uh, expand on this, and you can see we got a lot of activity. That's your polar angle. And basically our eyeball of our coronal is going through space so we got some pretty good action and then we got like a vortex action on the bottom on the south pole that's your north pole right there uh, I can plop back on this real fast just keep the screen going and hurry up and throw this report up and we'll go up and hit data they got it a great site I think I got I'm pretty doggone sure that I've got uh, links to these guys on my deal I got to make sure you get that link in there So, actually, it looks like Artis is a little bit quicker on, if you back up and check it out, it looks like they're a little bit more up on the activity, faster on the data feed. Sea flyers being observed, CME, should he impact us, I guess? It looks like, so we'll go to the impact map. It's loading a little slow. I was on the 15th, that action there, that I pretty much most of the stuff you normally keep up to minute on. I just happened to bumble along and hit this stuff. That's why I got so many videos today. Just all of a sudden, I just looked at it, and it's all kinds of activity stuff was going on. Uh, so we'll see. I'm getting a little... It might actually be... I'm just getting a delay. So there you go. I hope the audio is working okay on this. Otherwise, you're going to see the data if you look at the screen anyway. Actual fact data. We know black. And folks, there you go. You can watch the clock. I'm not even going to, you know, you just rate it the way it goes. That's when it should be. So we will get the little, you will, anybody ham operators in cell phone towers might get a little static. Your cell phone might affect a little bit. Our structure in the United States is everywhere I've been, and I've been traveling for the winter, you know, uh, down in the warmer area climate of the country, and basically everything's, you know, hunky-dory. I haven't had any major complaints or anything like that. So, I have reports of friends in Florida, they felt it. So, anyway... So there's where we should get it. And anywhere in that time frame there, or maybe even a little bit earlier. Okay? On the 20th. Real quick, I'll plug my site. Uh, I think, if, I don't know if I got show more. Yeah, you got show more, and you can always click there to see who's peeky pooing at the site, because we know that this is wrong. And then we'll quickly go to my channel on YouTube which is one of the two and but the old two are just a lot of, of my old at the time factual data that was going on scientific discussion physics and basically today I got this 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 and then the video that you're watching if it uploads alright so and as you can see the views it's their clocks are way bad they're they're really slow on their telemetry right now so being a blackout for now, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, keep your eyes wide open. And I don't ever give you that psyops talk because there's absolutely nothing wrong. The biggest things that are ever going to come by Earth that we know of for a long time was pan stars.